We're fogging up these windows pretty good. People are going to think something's going on in here. But his mom's not here. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions of Corbin. I'm Rick, and you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks on Patreon, follow us on official Twitter account, subscribe if you haven't like button. And if you're like, hey guys, you're not in a normal, uh, you're not in your normal space. Congratulations yeah, yeah. on Good not being blind. Way, great wow. recognition. Wow, you, you get are the intelligent. Prize. Uh, but I did bring my fancy dancy mics with us this time. This so we've never done in the car. The audio is going to be a little bit better yeah. than it normally is when but our the car lighting reviews. sucks. Yeah, the lighting sucks. We can't help great. it. I apologize. It's, it never it's a, rains in Southern California. It is a gloomy, rainy day gloomy, here today. Rainy glooms. But uh, hopefully it's okay. Uh, but the reason you will see this like this is because we just saw the uh, new 2023. Yes first 2023 film yes uh, it's a, in theaters first time i've said 2023 in a in a review no. yeah <laughs> <laughs> um the a new film kuti yeah kuti right is how you pronounce that dogs meaning dogs it's got the dog in them yeah uh directed by directed by mr bardwash himself and no we're not referring to vishal we're referring mm. to i believe i we i Butcher's so important name every time. to say everybody's names right. Uh -huh. I believe it's Eisman. If, if I'm not, wrong, please forgive me mm -hmm. for not pronouncing your name right. I feel really bad that we don't know the correct pro pronunciation of your name. Yes, I apologize. Uh, I'm terrible with names. Um, but directed and co-written um, from him and his father as well, and produced by produced his father by mom, and mom his and mom dad. and a couple other people, composed by his father, yep. and I believe the lyrics were by Gulzar as well. So, hashtag nepotism. Yeah. We love to we see it. We love it. We support uh, nepotism. <laughs> unashamedly. Uh, and it's starring... A bunch of no names. So don't go in thinking you're going to see any stars. No. You know, no, no good actors in this. Yep. Uh, Taboo. Yep. Nisir Din Shah. Yep. Uh, Radhika Madan. Radhika Madan. Uh, Arjun Kapoor. Yep. And Konasen Sharma. Yep. And a billion other people. Yeah. Including some bard washers. I don't know if they're related at all. <laughs> 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 there are more bard washers in here. Yeah. Um, but the reason uh, we are in our car is because the only theater playing in, in the, all of Los Angeles was a little farther a little than far away. normal. Uh, and so... It was just easier to, for us to do the review in the car, uh, and then I'll, I'll obviously post it when we get back. But that is why we are here. Uh, but since it is a new film that just came out, is in, currently in theaters, it will be mostly non-spoiler. And then if we want to get into some spoils, we will tell you before uh, so uh, so you can leave and then go watch it and come and back. Come back. Um, but uh, that that's how this is going to be. So uh, this is the non-spoiler section. Yeah, non-spoiler section. Rick, your initial thoughts, please. If you want to have a lot of fun, if you want to be entertained, if you want to see what it's like to write a script that has no fat and has a pacing from start to finish that feels absolutely right and have good performances by everybody involved and see something that's pretty original and has a couple things I'll talk about without spoiling anything, I... I am fully in. I had a blast. My favorite film of 2023. So yeah. Far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I and really enjoyed this movie. Fun fact, because uh, I looked up some people's, like, what they were saying about uh, Kuti before. A lot of negativity so far. <laughs> and I was going through it, and I was like, what the fuck are people talking about here? I, I did see some, uh, like, a, you know what's going to happen? They'll then watch it when it's streaming on Netflix and say, Oh, oh it's well, actually pretty yeah, good. You should have thought it theaters. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. So, and I think it might be, and I will say this first and foremost. If you do not like films that have violence or cursing out the butt, and I, I get there are yeah. some people that don't like that, so maybe that's one of the reasons. Yeah. And, and, and if you're also, I will say this, it's a sen kind of a semi-spoiler, but it's not. It might intrigue you. I've commented even recently about how often Indian cinema doesn't get intimacy right. <laughs> yep. They if, got... if you're prudish, you won't like this yeah. either. So, like, if you don't like a lot of violence and a lot of just gratuitous cursing uh, and uh, all that, even though I think it was all absolutely fantastic and wonderful and it's very up my alley. And totally in character for the characters. But if you don't like it, 
I could see why you probably might not like this. This film. isn't for the kids. No, this, this is, is not for a, the kids. A very violent, more than normal it's Indian a great films. Date movie. Yes, it is. Oh, what a great movie to go on a date. I would love to go on a date to see this movie. Yeah, uh, but anyways, yeah. So I, I really enjoyed the film. I think there, there are some things that, um, that I could probably point out, and I was like, maybe he could probably do better in his next film uh, on certain things. But they're very minute. I really, very really minute. enjoyed this film. He should be extremely proud that this is his debut Absolutely. film. Absolutely. I mean, you can't have. <laughs> It's <laughs> you had your father on set. I mean, it, I don't can't imagine a better person to have. Come on, you also had you have Tanyarog <laughs> and you have Anyarog and you've got Nasir, Nasir and, and you've got and Sharma <laughs> exactly. Arjun Kapoor. I mean, he, you've got so many good people working with you to help make this work out the right way. He was set up very well. But yeah, I really want to I want to go into obviously his directorial performance here because. That is really his film. There, there's one star. Uh, I mean, there, if you could name one star, even though this is a fully ensemble, it is cast, an ensemble piece. Yeah, it would probably be. Um, uh, um, it's it's, uh, it's, it's Arjun, Arjun Kapoor. He'd probably be he's your main lead. But even still, there's a good amount of time where he's not in the film at Absolutely. all. Absolutely. So this is a full ensemble piece, big time. Um, so, but so I'd say that the the director himself and um, the the cinematographer, the DP, are the stars of this film. As a sound design. Yes. And com- composition. Good job, Vishal Bartlesh. <laughs> I think you have a career. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you you should think of considering music yes. as well as direction. I think so. Um, but he did a phenomenal. There were so many points in this that I was like. Hell yes, agreed. <laughs> and I, I don't know how much of it was just his natural talent, which he probably does, coming from his family, right? Yeah. Um, but like, there was so many instances in this film that I'm like, that doesn't feel like a, a rookie director. At and all. I don't know who his DP was. Maybe it was. I know I got I'm to be here, so maybe it was a uh, the cinematographer is. Yeah, cinematographer credited for this is is uh, Farhad Ahmed uh, Dahivi, and forgive so, him mispronunciation. I don't know if that's his main DP or uh, whoever the camera work was, but so much of what he did in terms of creative shots, uh, one shots, like and Ace Riker Prasad, film and sound editing both. Um, were great, and you could tell in the action sequences when they made some frames per second changes that work. But it's just, it it it's a pretty tight film hello, hello, for hello, hello. so much going on in the film. Hello, hello, hello. Sorry, I think it was muted there for a second. Keep going. Sorry. Uh, it, the one of the most impressive things about the film is it had so many ways it could go wrong. So many ways this movie could go wrong, and it didn't. I don't know if that helps. Uh, I don't sorry. know if that helps at all. But it, it, especially when it came to screenplay, this mm. thing could have gone way off the rails. Uh, it, it, it's a really nice mix of things uh, without giving any spoilers away. Yeah, and it's it's fun. It's a very fun film, and it's it's less than two hours, and so it goes very fast. And you're engaged, and the you're whole engaged. time it just doesn't stop. Um, and it's just it's it's so incredibly fun, and it's not and a like of, a lot of twists that you can't see coming. Yeah, and that a there, lot of twists you can't see coming. There were multiple times that you <laughs> something would happen. I'm like, oh shit! I yeah, I didn't see that. I didn't coming. see that coming. Which is good because this style of story of um, a bunch of dogs per se, right? Yeah. That's the, the name's Kuti, right? A bunch of people coming together for a heist, almost, right? It's, yeah, you know what it feels not really like? a spoiler. It's, it gave it in the it's the gangs of Wasper meets Ocean's Eleven. Yeah, uh, so like that story obviously has been told. I think most uh, that's one of the struggles modern day filmmakers have. Almost every story has already been told. Yeah, and so it's your job as a writer and and director to tell it uniquely. Right. <laughs> like love stories have all been told, but people still love watching new love stories. So you just have to be creative in yeah. how you tell your story. Exactly. And he did a very good job telling a, a story like that's, you know, a bunch of people, I'm not going to give anything and, away. And, I'm sorry. And does one of my favorite things about the totality of it is the presu- especially in screenplay. He does what good directors do in assuming the intelligence of the audience. Mm-hmm. So he assumes he assumes that the audience is intelligent enough to know that if I do this and I do this, you're going to be tracking with me and I don't need to dumb it down for you to be online. Very much written and directed in a way that assumes the people watching this have intelligence relationally, cinematically, story-wise. And even when you do, he still... It always feels throughout the film that the director and the writer, which are the same man, are always one step ahead of you. 
in the audience. Yes, which is which is wonderful when they can uh, unpeel the. Because I'm obviously one of those people. If you've been around for a while, that I like to try to predict right. what is going to happen in a film. Uh, and obviously, in the end, you might be able to predict what happens, but there's certain things along the way. There's a great thing about the story. Yeah. I, I don't think it's a spoiler. Mm. Um, I'm gonna just in case I'm gonna save it for the okay. spoiler section. But just yeah, so I, I, the, the, that whole aspect of it was absolutely phenomenal, uh, and it, 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 it kept you engaged. And it, it's very, you could tell some. Obviously, his father's one of I'm sure his biggest inspiration. Why? How could he not could be? Right, on your who obviously you saw in the trailer makes a cameo in the film. Uh, it's wonderful. Um, and so obviously, I'm sure he looks up. But and also, anytime you put like uh, there, there's chapters in this film, right? That's not really a spoiler. No, it but just anytime, unfolds. Anytime in chapters. you do that, you're gonna get like Quentin. Quentin is notorious for loving chapters in a film, and you could tell he loves filmmakers like that, that push the boundaries. Not that I'm saying he's trying to be a Quentin Tarantino director. He doesn't copy anybody. No, this is not a, this doesn't feel like a Quentin film, but certain things you could tell, like, he probably watches certain films and like, oh, I would love to do something like that, and it, it, it's wonderful when you can tell an inspiration, but it's not a copy um, in certain elements of this film, you could definitely tell uh, he I, I, I'd be shocked if he didn't I mean, if you're a filmmaker and you don't love Quentin, you're kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> truly. <laughs> you're kind of, I mean, Quentin's very weird. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know how you can't, even if you don't like him personally, you can't deny yeah. the greatness of his writing and directing. And before we get to, because uh, obviously the, the even though we normally start with acting and there was a bunch of great acting in this, but it, that's not the main because there's so many pieces. This is this is a director yeah, movie, director film. Yeah, um, but also um, let me find out who the composer of this was. Yeah, I don't uh, know. Lesser uh, known, uh, Vachal Bidouage. Vachal yeah. Bidouage. Any relation to the, dire- uh, the director? I don't know. Probably you not. know. Most it's a common. Film, name. It's a common name. Um, <laughs> Phenomenal score. Really good. So unique. And it's no shock. He's one of the most unique, best composers in all of India, uh, in all of the world. But the the creativity and the uniqueness of the background score. And it's so much a part of the storytelling. Yeah. It's not just there to give you an emotional connection at times. It's there to tell the story with you. There's parts where the score is so perfectly matched in mm. places where you laugh out loud because it's so brilliant. Yeah, it's absolutely great. I It's... To, to, it, I, it's hard to say. And this is superlatives and about of say, a shawl film, a shawl uh, comp- I composition. I took a deep breath 15 minutes in mm. because we're going to be honest. We've said that before. We don't hold any one artist above the art form. Mm. So when you're going to see a film that has people involved that you have had an opportunity to get to personally know, yeah. you're wanting more than anything for it to do well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was so relieved. 15 seconds in, I knew we were in for a good ride. And I was... I expected it, yeah. but th- everybody's human. Yep. It was so wonderful. Directorial debut. Yeah, to come on and say, ugh, it's what we were hoping for. Yeah, absolutely. If you if you enjoyed the trailer, I think you're going to enjoy the film. Absolutely. Uh, it's, you it's, get what you were sold. Like I said, if you saw the trailer and you're like, oh, I'll go into that film not thinking it's a violent uh kind of oh, they let you edgy know. film. They, yeah. they let you know that in the trailer. They showed you the menu. Uh, and they deliver the menu yep. in this film. Uh, absolutely. the So that, that was great. Uh, all the performances. And I, I want to talk specifically about our, our... I'd say he's the lead. But he's the one that I feel has the most kind of controversy when people s- saw his name was in this film. Because mm. even though we've never seen an Alu Arjun film... You mean Arjun Kapoor? S- sorry, yes. Not a, I did that in the trailer. I, <laughs> I did that in the trailer. Arjun Kapoor. I yeah. apologize. Um, pe- when people, I, I saw when we reacted to it, people were like, "Oh, so you have Nasir, you have Taboo, you have blah blah blah, you have blah blah Kankana, and then you have Arjun." As Obvi- if that's a like drop down. Yes. So like apparently he's not known for his acting. He's like a he's a okay. Well, it should tell you what the creative team. The casting in this I, is uniformly great. Yes, absolutely. Well, there's two, I'll talk about that later. There's two. So, <laughs> but they're foreigners, and so <laughs> that's that's yeah. who I'll talk about. They're of not course. white this time. No, we're no. talking about the main ensemble. No, main ensemble, and he did a, a very good job because I know that's a question a lot of people had about this film: is how can Arjun play alongside Taboo? If you give a great director, I think most, like, you can give him even, I'm not saying he is a subpar actor. I think a great director, 
uh, or um, that obviously I think Ayushman is going to come into, um, but obviously you have Vishal there as well, can make any actor better. And Anurag can make any actor better. Correct. I'm not saying they can make them great, no. but they can make them better. But, but with great writing and great direction, that is why you should always, like, especially actors of a certain ilk that can pick and choose, always choose great writers and great directors. There's no, in this main ensemble, guys, there's no weak link. No. Everybody is equally good. And that's saying a lot when you consider that part of this ensemble is an Asirid and Sean taboo. Yeah. And I just want to say, Lou Arjun held his own against... You mean Arjun Kapoor? S- fuck! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> ben <John! laughs> Sorry, it felt very fitting for this review. Uh, yes, he, he, he held his own. But yeah, taboo in this film was... It, she, she was taboo. She's taboo. And she has... Uh, her and Nasir in very different ways, have such power, such screen presence in this film. Yeah, there's a point where he said that about Nasir. Yeah. And I, I turned back and said, yeah, you can't teach you, that. You can't teach what Nasir has. Or Taboo. No. Uh, and there, if, if you were going in, it's like, um, to this film and been like, oh, I love Taboo and I love Nasir, even though you probably won't get, they're, they're not the main characters of the film. You'll want more. You'll want more, which is saying something about the film, right? Um, they did a, a fantastic job. You're going to get what you want from Taboo. You're going to get what you want from Nasir. Uh, and other actors as well. Uh, obviously, Konkana, uh, she's not a huge part of the film, uh, but she does a, a very good job. job. I would actually love a spinoff movie of just her character or a spinoff series, right? Yeah. Wouldn't you? Yeah. Uh, without giving anything. Um, who's the guy that played? Um, um, yeah, I, I'm trying Arjun's to. Arjun's friend. Yeah. We've seen them um, before. We have, but there's no, unfortunately, on IMDb, there's, there's a lot of names without their headshots is next to it him? or photos or there's promo no photos. Inter- anyway, internet. Um, and the whole I... cast is uniformly really, really good. I just messed up. Yeah. But yeah, that's like, like the, uh, I, all of them were really good. I wanted to give a shout out to one of like uh, the main people probably in the film out next to Arjun. Yeah. He did a really good job as well. Yep. Um, yeah. It's... And boy... This isn't a, I mean, it's kind of a spoiler, but it's not. This must not have been an easy shoot because so much of this is done rain. at night in the rain. Yeah. And there's, and also like, I don't want to give anything away in terms of, because I, I, I want to. Should we talk spoils yeah. for a few so minutes? If you haven't seen please it. Please see the movie. Please see the movie. I know it's not going to be the big blockbuster. It's be so fun. Of the, of the, of the year, of the week. Just go have a good time. <clears throat> don't care about box office. If you liked the trailer. Don't bring the kids. No. If you like the trailer, you're gonna like the movie. I, I can't. They, they, and, they gave you what they were, what they were uh, offering in the menu. And they, they, they do deserve. And if they don't get it in theaters, they'll get it on streaming. But boy, they really do deserve not just a recoup of what they invested, but they deserve some profits from this so that they can be told. I mean, he's gonna make more anyway. Yeah. But I would love to see his first film be successful economically. Yeah. So that other people who would invest in his work would be more willing to do so. Mm. Uh, it, it's it's a worthy watch. I it's agree. A lot of he fun. has a very promising career Agreed. ahead of him as a director. Um, but yeah, let's. Uh, if you haven't watched it, please yeah. go watch it. Come go watch back. it. We're spoils times. We're assuming you've seen <clears throat> it now. Yeah. Some of the <clears throat> shots in this. Like the, the he had a one shot, a one shot, a that one was shot, really well in done in the rain, in the rain at night, at night, with a couple of smooth moments that were not really clear if that was a clean edit to make it look like it was a continued one shot or if they just continued yeah. the one shot. That might have been like a. I hope we didn't just kill my oh God. car battery. Put the put your put foot on the brake. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, good. Great. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're good. It just timed out. Hi, everybody. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, the one shot. The was one great. shot was so. I mean, there was so much in this, like camera work wise. There was such interesting shots. How they get like the start of the scene. A lot of and, overheads. Yeah, like it was absolutely beautiful. So the DP and obviously uh, the director should be very proud. And of, great continuity. Whoever was in charge of the continuity, which should be everybody on set, really. At the smallest detail from which side of her shirt Taboo's pant was untucked to making sure his shoulder was still injured to making sure we still looked wet after it had rained, even though it's dry now. I couldn't find a continuity flaw. Yeah. Um, they, they all did a, a very good job. Uh, <laughs> and what, what I was going to say for the beginning and decided to... Here's one of my... Fa- I don't know that I've seen a film... Hmm that tells two messages at the same time 
so well. And here it is. The first message in the film is history is told by the victors. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And the powerful get to dictate the narrative. Mm -hmm. Not the good, not the correct or the right, but the powerful. And then, okay, foot on the brake. Just let's start it again. Start it again. You want to start it? Yeah. Okay. That's it's saying we're using too much battery. Sorry for background sounds. Oh. But so you have that first story of the it's it's told by the victors. Yeah. Simultaneously, the lesson is crime doesn't pay. Yeah. <laughs> How do you do that? Yeah. And How do you do that? There's a, a twist at the very end, obviously, of something that comes. Something well, else. we're in the spoiler section, yeah, we are. so we can talk so about obviously, it. So obviously, like, when, when Modi came <laughs> off. <laughs> did not see that coming. No, I did not, and it was absolutely hilarious. But <laughs> maybe that's also one of the reasons people didn't like the film, because I, uh, wh I whatever reason, it. I thought it was absolutely, I did not see it coming. I also love little moments, like when he sees Taboo for the first time in the middle of that wonderful thing where they're pointing their guns at each other, and he goes, Madam Sir, Jai Hind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was a lot. There was a lot of comedy in oh, this film. So good, uh, from camera work to all, uh, like um, uh, the the score behind the it. The score to, coming on with I'm a doomed man yeah, while he's being chased. To a, it was a bunch of, uh, of it's just stuff that really worked together very very well. Yeah, there was. Um, so and, uh, fun. At times that I think in his future stuff he might like some of the times where like you you're at a certain level. And then the next scene would go down a little bit, not in terms of quality, but in terms of like energy. Mm. And I, I think it, there's that one of the things I could say that maybe he could improve. What, I like. What that. am I to say? Right. Uh, <laughs> I liked it because he kept. There were the. Are you talking about? For example, did you feel like the moment where Lovely is with her boyfriend in the car? Well, at first I felt that was going to be it, See, and I then I loved that. what obviously yeah, it came I into. I loved and, that scene. No, I'm talking just in general. Like throughout the film, there were certain moments that I think maybe could have been clipped together just okay. to energy. It's a very nitpicky thing. I'm just. Yeah, I was fine with it. Well, like once again, who am I to fucking say? I've never made a film, so <laughs> fuck me, right? Uh, <laughs> Um, but yeah, this, then there was two supporting actors. They were foreign actors, but they were Nigerian. They weren't even supporting. Yeah, they were they were day player. They roles. were basically the white uh, white people in the proverbial Indian film of yeah. this film uh, that we normally see. But that's and they weren't awful, but they weren't they weren't nearly as bad. I, I didn't have to hang my head and just yeah. say why, why they were they weren't at the level of everybody else no. for sure. No. But uh, all the violence in this film, this is probably one of the more violent, gratuitous violent films that we've seen you don't get yeah. a lot of that in Indian cinema and I, I did love the freedom of just expression that didn't feel gratuitous I mentioned this in the beginning yeah. point of the intimacy moments were believable they were sexy without being over the top they just it's the thing I've complained repeatedly about of I wish we got this more in Indian cinema depicting physical intimacy and sexuality more realistically and it it, it, it was done and I, I everything from and the duality of people. Not everybody was a clear-cut bad guy. I love the moment in the restaurant where they're talking about what they're going to do, and they're all cussing and doing what they're doing, and Arjun gets on the phone talking to his his kid, and he starts singing yeah. Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. And in the background, they're saying, oh, yeah, Ben Chow, yeah. Ben Chow. <laughs> yeah, there, there was a lot of comedy, like, in terms of not just, like, oh, here's a funny joke kind of not thing. Not at all. It was just situational. Uh, and you could tell, like... Even though, like, obviously the quality of his film felt like almost like of a Shaw Bard wash in terms of, like, how good the quality was. Yeah. But you could tell the youthfulness that was yes, also in this. absolutely. Which comes from, obviously, I don't know how old he is, probably 25 or yeah. 26, maybe. No, it had youthful energy. It did have a lot of that, which is which is lovely uh, to have. Uh, it really, comes. for me, is it's, it's Gangs of Wasipur or Mirzapur meets Ocean's Eleven. Yeah. It had, it, it, but... but the the violent aspect of it is the gangs and 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 Mirzapur yeah. section because there are some moments that were just gloriously yeah. violent. Yeah, <laughs> and like you'll you'll notice moments that are like obviously the a lot of the uh, CGI bullet wounds. Yeah, a like, couple of those they get a pass. They didn't want to spend the money on that. You're not going to this film for for the CGI. You no, know? and there's not a lot of it. No, but uh, very few. That, you see it. But those are the you things you'll notice. Uh, in the film um, that I'm sure if he had a bigger budget he'd probably exactly. tell you himself that he'd want to fix yeah. as well. It's, it's not, um, not a problem. And I would actually say this film could have been even longer, could have delved into... I like the fact that it was what it was, like an hour 53 or something like that. So it's very... It does... There's not a lot of fat... No, hardly any so right. So well trimmed. Um, but I would have even loved to delve into certain characters even more. Even more. But also... 
I saw because I saw one review. It was like I couldn't relate to. It. I was like, this is a film you're really not supposed to. Really you know, not supposed to. I, and I did care for some characters. Actually, I did care for <laughs> some characters, but there, as far as relating, I didn't want any one of them to win. They were all bad. Yeah, They're all everybody's dogs. a dog. <laughs> Everyone is a dog. Even though dogs are pure at heart and they're all amazing. <laughs> no, that's the great thing. This does, a, as a whole, the film feels like what you get if you watch stray dogs on the street all day. Yeah. Everybody's going to be fighting for what they're going to get. And at one moment, you think they're really cute. And the next moment, they're killing each other and ripping flesh. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Um, and uh, was there any other parts that we, we missed to talk about? Uh, uh, well, the only thing I can say, because I just am always so enamored by the queen, is I, I just, Taboo is not just such a wonderful thespian. And she has really the capacity to play any kind of role and be herself in the role. But one of my favorite things about Taboo is how gorgeous she is in her aging process. Yeah, I uh, just gorgeous. keep whatever whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Don't mess with anything because uh, it's it's she's just. Ooh. If you're a Taboo fan, that in and of itself will be enough to hold you through the film. Just to to watch her do what she does and see her be who she is. And there's no as as great as she is, she doesn't stand out so much that it. This is a full ensemble where every single person including like the moment in the the car with lovely i don't know the actor's name who plays her boyfriend in that yeah. moment i loved the listening and the just being uh, the casting and direction for the actors and what could have easily been thrown away because this is all about script action story yeah the acting throughout was absolutely wonderful this is one and vishal is that way as well most of his films can i think be appreciated by the west as well in absolutely terms of like, it feels very familiar and i would of absolutely the, recommend this to people here the format yep this is one of the films yep. that um it's it Great even though obviously movie. it feels indian i'm not saying it doesn't feel indian but it's just it's it, the certain directors can do things in a certain way that like you wouldn't normally think a Rajmouli film outside of RRR could be appreciated by everyone because you wouldn't think that like they they don't that goes into song and dance it goes into over the top action they probably won't like that right which we we do it's, you just have to do it really well like Rajmouli does right <laughs> um, but certain directors like Vishal's or Anyarags they just know how to format a film that is acceptable kind of to everybody and very familiar I'm laughing because. I just the quirkiness of some moments are so great. Oh, yeah. Like meow. Yeah. Meow. <laughs> 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 to his daughter. <laughs> so good. This could have easily if this was just released in the United States, if I was a producer, I would beg everybody to release it around Valentine's Day. <laughs> Cuz there's always a lull and say if you love money, if you love power, if you love your love, meow. Uh, then come and see. This this is a great date night movie, man. Yeah, oh, I, oh, I agree. Had a great time. Uh, I did too as well. I'm I'm very happy. Uh, 2023 is off to a great start. Yep. Uh, today. Uh, so let us know if you've seen the film. Please go watch the film. I'm uh, hopefully. You're I'm not assuming here. you have not. I'm assuming at this point you've seen the film. So. Uh, I know it's not going to be the the biggest box office one, unfortunately, but uh, it's that doesn't mean it's a quality film if it's good at the box office ever like a lot of films that don't do well they find their legs later because of quality exactly right. um, well singchata and their yeah. proof you know one of the biggest box office films of this past year 2022 was was jurassic did you see that thing no oh, it was dreadful <laughs> Yeah, I did not. Absolute. I did not. Garbage. I saw the Banshees of whatever it's called, and it's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let us know what you thought about this film. Uh, if you if you liked it, if you hated it, uh, you're weird. Uh, let us know down below.